Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in narrator on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and play around with the narrator as one of the features in the Ease of Access Center. So it's still available on Windows 11. It's been around in Windows for a while. And we're going to go ahead and explore into it a little bit. And just start by opening up the search menu. Search for narrator. Best match to come back with narrator. Go ahead and open that up. And then go ahead and select OK. So now at this point, you can go ahead and actually walk through the various information here, which has not always been available in the, this kind of format, which is pretty easy to read, honestly. So you can select the quick start to go over the basics of narrator. And you just won't go ahead and select the start guide button. You can also view what is new, so check for updates and see what it can do. And you can adjust settings here as well, so you go through settings. You can go ahead and adjust different keyboard shortcuts for the narrator by clicking inside of here. You can see the keyboard shortcut for narrator is the Windows Control and Enter key. So that is turned on, so if you tap those three keys, you open up the narrator. You also view the narrator home by expanding that and then opening it up here which will just open us up through here instead of going through the classic control panel that has been the main landing page for Narrator for a very long time, probably since the Windows Vista days, if I had to guess, maybe even earlier than that. But you can see there's other areas here too. You can see Show Narrator Home when Narrator starts. It'll go ahead and read any specific text on your computer. And for example, if you were to highlight over something like the search icon, you go ahead and actually use it to type in certain areas into your computer and you can scan your voice in order to conduct scans as well as just reading aloud whatever visually appears on your screen so just by highlighting over stuff you can generally get the narrator to activate and pretty straightforward and you can also show narrator after sign in by clicking on here if you want to start narrator automatically you can check mark inside of there and you can also check mark inside if you want it to begin before you sign in so pretty straightforward process guys do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.